What happened in a split second on a November day in Dallas has had effects on one man for 50 years. Former U.S. Secret Service agent Clint Hill has carried the burden of that dreadful day when, in his eyes, he failed in his line of duty. I remember everything that happened that day, from the time that I woke up that morning in uh, Fort Worth to the time uh, that we uh, finally arrived back in Washington at Andrews Air Force Base and took the president's body out to Bethesda Naval Hospital for the autopsy. It was a bright and sunny day in Dallas, and crowds were lovingly applauding the presidential motorcade in Dealey Plaza. The spirit drastically changed when two gunshots rang out. Hill sprang to action and jumped on the back of the targeted limousine to shield President John F. Kennedy. It was on that day, November 22, 1963, at 12.30 p.m., that the president was assassinated. And when I heard a, an explosive noise over my right shoulder coming from the rear, I started to turn towards that noise, but I only got as far as seeing what happened in the back seat of the presidential limousine. And when I saw the president react to being shot in the uh, just below the neckline in the to the right of the spinal cord column, he grabbed at his throat. And I knew something was wrong, and so I ran to the car trying to get to the president and Mrs. Kennedy to provide a barrier or shield behind them so that nothing further could happen. Unfortunately, I got there a little bit too late. The shots of that day would echo through Hill's memory for the next 50 years. Today marks the 50th anniversary of what is considered to be one of the most controversial events in American history. It changed everything. That one moment in time was what we call the end of the age of innocence. And from that point on, things changed enormously. After surviving the media spotlight surrounding the event for the next several years, Hill got a desk job where he had time to think. He then slipped into his 40-year struggle with post-traumatic stress disorder. I went through a long period of very deep depression. I cut off all uh, relationships with friends and family. I pretty much locked myself into my home and uh, lived on alcohol and tobacco. It wasn't until 2009 when Hill became acquainted with writer Lisa McCoven that he began sharing his story and healing. What he calls the slow climb out of his emotional dungeon resulted into two books he co-wrote with McCoven, Mrs. Kennedy and Me and Five Days in November. On the 50th anniversary of that day in Dallas, a healing center is being opened on Skyatook Lake, Oklahoma in honor of Hill. The center is designed to provide a gathering place of healing for servicemen and women who face traumatic events. Owner of Cross Timbers Marina, Ron Howell, shares why Hill is a hero worthy of such commemoration. Sadly, he wasn't to himself. He never to this day accepts that he was a hero. His view is that he had failed in protecting. He didn't. It was Oswald's day. but. It, it demonstrates what heroes often feel. There's a lot of guilt associated with traumatic, even though heroic service. And so uh, having it named after Clint is perfect because he's become a national inspiration because he has taught us that by coming out, talking about it, you can start to heal. Hill now shares his story with the world, encouraging other servicemen and women to begin healing from traumatic events by sharing their stories with peers. Yes, anyone who is suffering from PTSD, first thing they need to know is they need to seek counseling and talk to someone about it. I never did that. I thought I was too much, too, too macho, too tough, and it was a big mistake on my part. I needed to do it, and I didn't. They need to do it, and they should do it. And this gathering place here in Oklahoma at Skyatook Lake will really be a, a, a wonderful place for them to gather and sit down and relax and talk to each other and get to the core of their problem and then live a very happy life from that point on. Reporting for Tulsa's Channel 8, I'm Mackenzie Garp.